Yo what's up guys this is Iprix here today in this video I'll be showing you guys the settings which you should apply while emulating games in Lemurite emulator if you have watched my previous video then you know that in Lemurite now you can emulate 3ds games too so Nintendo 3ds support has been officially added if you read this then you'll see I'm using the Lemurite beta version you are a beta tester for this app now if you want to apply for the Lemurite beta version what you have to do is just go down and scroll down and here you'll get a tab uh, asking you if you want to apply to beta tester so you just have to click on join wait for few minutes then uh, reopen play store and you will get the beta version of Lemurite you can try it out if you want to to get some more supported games etc but once we just go ahead and open as you can see I have loaded the Pokemon X now first of all let me just go ahead and go open the setting here we will just go ahead and click on advanced settings at the top you will be able to see the rumble option now you can disable this but if you enable this your controller will vibrate so if you are emulating games and using controllers then this is a good option to enable it will basically make your gameplay experience immersive but if we just go ahead and select the cache size limit just set it to 1 GB alright Afterwards what you have to do is just go ahead and go to the home option but here you can see we have also enabled the direct game load option, reduce loading time and catch usage on supported consoles so just go ahead and enable this as well. Once that has been done now we can go in game and I will show you guys the in game settings as well. First of all we will just, we'll just go ahead and open the game. Here we go guys. Now there are few problems with Lemurite emulator. The first one is that you won't be able to get the, uh, you won't be able to see the FPS that you are getting sadly because the fps meter isn't available the second problem is that you cannot play in full display you can only do that in citra there is no option but if we just go ahead and hold this button then go to setting here you'll see screen layout option if you click on it you can see there is only two option of left to right and top to bottom if we select left to right and go back then you can see that this screen will even get more smaller so we'll just go ahead and go to settings again select top to bottom and afterwards select resolution scaling as 1x Keep native resolution on your low-end devices. If you have a mid-end device, I can guarantee that it will work with 2x resolution. Afterwards, what you have to do is just go ahead and enable accurate shader multiplication only if you are facing any texture issues. I got a comment saying that he was unable to read the text because of a uh, graphical issue. So if you face that, enable accurate shader multiplication and geometry shaders. But if not, then you can disable both of these. Now let's go back and let me show you guys the best option which you can enable. It is the fast forward option. Just go ahead and enable this and your game will work faster. That's how simple it is. So for all the people who uh, face lag issue while emulating 3ds games on Android, you can just enable the fast forward settings in Lemurite emulator. Now let me show you guys if I hold and disable the fast forward option, then you will be able to see the difference instantly like the FPS will drop down. But if we just go ahead and enable fast forward again, then you can also see the different uh, difference instantly. So this is really amazing option. It basically doubles the speed I guess so it will help you in emulating games on low end devices but other than that this emulator is solid every game is playable I guess and I have heard that this has been forked from Citra so I guess uh, the compatibility comes from there but if we just go ahead and hold this again you can also disable audio uh, it may increase FPS I don't really know I haven't tried it so you can then just go ahead and mute uh, the game and let me know in the comment section down below if you guys got more FPS after disabling audio but other than that everything is uh, working properly like uh, there is no texture issues but if you face any again enable the accurate shader multiplication and geometry shaders but uh, until then there is no need to apply any other settings the stock settings will get you just enable fast forward and enjoy 3d simulation on your android devices at full speed through lemuroid emulator now the main reason why i prefer lemuroid is because it can also emulate uh, multiple consoles like it can emulate GBA, it has no ads, it, it is also open source so that's why Lemurite is my choice of emulator. But anyways that's it for today's video, thanks for watching, make sure like and subscribe, stay tuned for more videos, goodbye.